Hello creative friends, this is Joy. So if you've been following along, we're working on creating a junk journal. And I had these tags and that I wanted to use to make pockets, more pockets for the junk journal that I created. And I found some packaging in my stash that I thought would make a really good, um, like some tuck, tuck spots, is that what you call them, tuck spots, for the journal. So if you've been following along, I did a video on creating the journal, and then I did a video on decorating the edges, on making paper clips, on doing some pockets, belly bands, and tuck spots, and now here is another video to do a few more pockets and a couple of more tuck spots. I decided I wanted more um, pockets and tuck spots to put into this journal. So I'm just gluing everything down, uh, These a couple of these cards to some um, paper here that I had in my stash. And it's music paper, as you can see. I thought that would be a really good base to start with. <clears throat> and then I end up decorating these um, for my junk journal. And I'm just making sure all the edges are glued down good. I'm using the uh, ooh, ooh, hoo, hoo, um, glue stick. I guess that's how you say it. <laughs> I have trouble saying it. It's supposed to be a permanent glue. And so far, I've not had any problems with it. It's worked pretty good for me. So I um, enjoy using it. And... Again, just making sure all of the edges are glued down good. All the corners are glued down um, really well. And so, yeah, i am re been really having a lot of fun um, with creating the journal and then creating elements to decorate the journal with. I have additional videos that um, co are coming up in this series for um, elements for this journal and then a final one I'm putting it all together so if you're interested in making a junk journal or if you've been following along and making one with me um, I really appreciate it and if you want to see the other videos coming up uh, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever I post those videos and you can go back if you haven't watched the previous videos um, to see how I've created the journal and made the um, other elements that I've made for this junk journal so far. So here I decided to do two of them on music paper and two of them just on some um, text paper. I believe this was a page uh, from um, a dictionary, I believe, that I'm gluing to these cards to uh, make pockets for this junk journal that I've been working on. And so yeah, I've been having a lot of fun playing around with all of this and I've made journals in the past and sold them on my Etsy shop but I've never actually made a junk journal per se like this. I've been watching lots of videos online and really getting inspired by you know, other people that are making junk journals and I've been wanting to make one for myself, um, just never seem to ha be able to find the time to do it. And I guess I decided that, you know, now is the time to create one for myself because I just love seeing all the junk journals people are making and uh, really wanted to make one myself. So these stickers are actually um, labels that I had and then I just stamped on them and I thought they would look really cute on these tags. And I have this thin washi tape that I thought would be... Um, you know, nice for to put on top to kind of like give it more of a finished edge. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm putting down a sticker that I made um, from, like I said, a label and some stamps that I have. And then I'm putting a little bit of a washi tape on the top edge of it so that it, you know, has a, you know, looks like a more finished edge to it. And um, these skinny washi tapes, I, I just found them on Amazon uh, some time ago. Uh, I've had them for a while now and I just was, you know, wanting to get some skinny washi tape that I could use for 
various things and there's different colors and different patterns on them and stuff and so yeah I really like them they're, they're kind of neat that one I decided to put two different ones on and here is some die cuts that I was using when I was making the other pockets that I made for the journal and the other um, the paper clips that I was making for this journal so I'm, I'm using some of the same elements that I used previously so that way there's uh, you know some kind of cohesion in the journal with um, all the elements that are being used to make it so I'm just deciding on like what I want to put on these other two pockets and I'm gluing those down I'm using it's a three in one uh, silicone glue but it really doesn't smell very very good so I will never probably get this glue again because it's just got a really strong odor but it's what I've been using the whole time to create the journal and to create all the elements for it and you know so I'm just continuing to use use it and like I said I'll just use it up and probably won't buy that again because it's just really strong smelling um, so here I'm adding the washi tape at the top and trying to straighten up the edge because it looked a little off and then here I'm deciding on what other color to add to this other pocket um, to kind of give it you know a finished edge for it so like I said right now I'm just I've made the journal I'm going through making the different elements that I want to use to put in the journal and I have a few more things uh, that I'll be making um, to put in the journal and then which I um, will videotape and put that up and then the final where I show you how to you know where I put it all together so here's the packaging I really thought it was pretty I thought this would like make a pocket or something and see it's the size of the cards I was using but then I thought well I wanted some more tuck spots and so if I cut this out of diagonal I could get at least two tuck spots out of this so that's what I did I cut it out of diagonal and I'm just trying to decide what I want to put on them um, it's got a little bit of design on them I don't know if you can really see that on the video but um, so I'm pulling from the same die cuts that I've used uh, throughout the journal and um, this one here is a sticker that I found in my stash of a mushroom so I thought that would go on this one really good and and then the other one is a die cut and of course trying to get that on there kind of straight I had to pull it off a couple of times because it kept looking crooked to me and gluing down the mushroom on the other one and then I use the same um, washi tape the thin washi tape to uh, put along the edge to kind of give it a little bit of finished edge so that's pretty much uh, the you know this video showing you some more pockets and tucks that I made to go in my junk journal if you um, like this video I appreciate if you give me a thumbs up if you have any questions uh, or comments I would appreciate that as well um, and if you want to see more you know you could subscribe to my channel and then hit the notification bell to be notified of any more videos that I post and here I'm just deciding on what other washi tape would go with this other one and I decided to I think on the green one to use that on the edge of this uh, second tuck spot and trying to make sure that it's straight or at least looks straight because <laughs> I don't think I cut it straight I, I just use my scissors and tried to eyeball it <laughs> but straight enough <laughs> And then the last thing that I do is I thought that these two that have the uh, stickers on them with the butterflies that I made um, might, you know, needs a little bit of um, stickles on there. So I put that on there. Thank you for stopping by and watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.